Evangelista Cyborg. Here once again is Jimmy Lennon Jr. Well, fans from San Jose, California, the time has come for the Strike Force World Welterweight Championship. It's time for Diaz versus Cyborg. <laughs> Tremendous fight for the Strike Force Welterweight Championship. Flying knee desperate, drop just is down. It's over. Cyborg wins his Strike Force Welterweight debut. Now, picking up a bar with a jab. And it's Sarajkis who takes the leather of Cyborg. Tapped him out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the challenger to the cage, the Brazilian fighting machine, Evangelista Cyborg. Evangelista Cyborg is hoping his third crack at an MMA title will be the charm after coming short on two different occasions while competing as a light heavyweight for the defunct Cage Rage promotion in the United Kingdom. He earned tonight's title shot thanks to a first round TKO triumph over Maria Sorovskis in Cyborg's 170 pound debut last June. In fact, he beat the Dream Welterweight Kingpin exactly two minutes quicker than Diaz did to become the first strike force welterweight champion one year ago tomorrow. Yeah, and this guy's got a lot of violent power. His <laughs> kicks are horribly hard throws very hard punches he is mean he looks mean i mean this this boy's rough frank and the whole family's mean the whole camp is mean i mean they're the nicest people in the world but they can whoop some butt man i mean come on i can only imagine what the kids are going to be like are you kidding me <laughs> no listen seriously but the key to the case for cyborg tonight really is kick the head he's got to kick the head of nick diaz he's got to get him out of that boxing stance he's got to get him leaning back and doing all kinds of crazy things anything but standing there and throwing on those machine gun punches over and over and over. He wants to join the likes of Vanderlei Silva, Mauricio Shogun Hua, Anderson Silva, Marillo Ninja Hua, and of course his wife, Chris Cyborg, as champions who have been produced by the vaunted Shooter Box Academy in Brazil. Tonight is Cyborg's chance to make history along with his wife as the first married couple to ever simultaneously hold MMA championships. Yeah, I think in any sport. Can you imagine that? That's a lot of pressure. You got your camp with a ton of champions. Your wife's a champion. Everybody's <laughs> a champion. You're a cast out if you don't win it. Yeah, you don't want to go home a loser on that one. <laughs> uh -uh. Evangelista Cyborg Santos, a black belt in BJJ and Luta Libre, a four-time Brazilian Muay Thai champion. And he will try to utilize those notorious and vicious Muay Thai techniques tonight against the champion. And now here is the champion and world-renowned Gracie Jiu-Jitsu black belt introducing Nick D. Representing the 209 as a champion who is hard to define, the enigmatic Nick Diaz, someone who marches to the beat of his own drum, in his case, the bongos, but his skills inside the cage are world-class. Striking or submissions, this guy can do it all, and he outstruck pro boxer KJ Noons in his last title defense in what, Pat, I still contend was one of the best five rounds of pure striking I've seen in MMA. Absolutely. Nick Diaz's boxing was always very good, but it got even better for that fight. Kid's amazing. Along with that, able to compete in triathlons this guy is a stud yeah as an athlete Nick, Nick Diaz is really in his prime and he's really I think just catching his stride and figuring MMA out he put a whooping on me when we did our thing but here's what he's got to do to beat Cyborg he's just got to avoid the power I think that the power is going to be there for a round or two but past that if he keeps that game going if he fights that super aggressive beat you down style Nick Diaz is going to finish off Cyborg and remain our champion. As part of his new deal with Strike Force, he is also able to participate in professional boxing, uh, most likely at super middleweight. That fight is supposed to happen this year, most likely at 168 pounds. He is 1-0 as a pro pugilist. He has sparred with the likes of undefeated super middleweight champ on 
Andre Ward. The question I have for you, Pat, does he want to turn this into a boxing contest against a guy with the power of Evangelista Cyborg? He does if he can stay on the outside, but when you're on the outside, you're dealing with Cyborg's kicks at the same time, so that's a tough one to figure out. All right, let's go to the tail of the tape for tonight's main event. Nick Diaz is six years younger. He's definitely taller, considerably taller. Same weight at weigh-in time. Reach, surprisingly, goes to Cyborg. I'd say Cyborg's a lot scarier. I would say so, too. Chris Cyborg, Evangelista, significant other. All of a sudden, the smile is gone. She knows, well, there it is. She knows she's on TV, but it's it's game time. She has the, the face as well. She's ready. And there's her title. She wants to hopefully add her husband's belt to the hardware. All right, let's go one more time to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the HP Pavilion as Strike Force and Showtime present the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Rockstar Energy Drink. Bigger, better, faster, stronger, party like a rock star. Tonight's action is sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. The chairman is John Frierson, Executive Officer George Dodd. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening. Five five-minute rounds scheduled for the Strike Force Welterweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and MMA fans joining us around the world, live from San Jose, it's showtime! Introducing to you first, the challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner. Trained in Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, his record stands at 18 wins and 13 losses. From Rondonopolis, Mato Grosso, Brazil, please welcome the acclaimed Brazilian battler, introducing Evangelista Cyborg! And his opponent across the cage, the defending champion fighting out of the red corner. One of MMA's all-around standouts versed in boxing and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. His record includes 23 wins, 7 losses, and 1 no contest. With 12 knockouts and 7 submissions to his credit from Stockton, California. Please welcome MMA's bad boy tonight making the second defense of his title. Here is the Strike Force World Welterweight Champion introducing Nick Diaz. And our referee in charge now to give instructions, Josh Rosenthal. Gentlemen. I've right, been over your instructions. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands all times. Defend yourselves all times. Touch gloves the back. Let's do this. We are set for five five-minute rounds. The Strike Force Welterweight Championship hangs in the balance. The champion Nick Diaz looking to extend his eight-fight win streak. While Evangelista Cyborg wants to join his wife as Strike Force champion. Gentlemen, you ready? You ready? Let's fight! And we are underway. The champion in the red gloves, the challenger in the blue, and immediately Cyborg tests the waters with that high kick. Diaz is talking to him. Already. Surprise, surprise. Diaz talks almost as much in the cage as he throws punches. The guy crashes CompuStrike. And if you look at it, over his past 11 bouts, he has thrown an average of 253 strikes per fight, landing an average of 128, or 51%. Think about that for a moment. I can't. Nick Diaz punched me too much. <laughs> and Hard. Down. Good kick. Chanting Diaz. Good and there's kick. another inside leg kick by challenger and that's what he wants to do and Diaz thought that's what he would do try to chop down the champion with those late kicks that's the key to taking Nick Diaz's base out from underneath him 
Got to keep booting that lead leg. And now Diaz getting busier, closing the distance, pinning Cyborg along the fence. If you have never seen the fight that Evangelista Cyborg had with Melvin Manhoff back in 2006 in the UK for Cage Rage, on YouTube it's already drawn nearly one million hits. It is a masterpiece of unbridled violence, and it's a it's a peek inside the psyche of Evangelista Cyborg. <laughs> Nick landed a real stiff jab there that just pushed the head and everything back of Cyborg. Nick has got to start defending those low kicks because, hey, we're not long into this fight. Not even two minutes into it. He's taking about six kicks to the leg. And they are tenderizing his lead leg. And now Cyborg with the power one-two combination. Diaz steps in. Cyborg doing a very good job of maintaining those kicks and another inside leg kick. And then mixing it up upstairs and backs up Diaz with that right hand. Those are big kicks, and Diaz is trying to make a block now because they're really starting to hurt. He's wow. locking them up. You can tell he's already being dramatized with those kicks and now coming forward. And he just landed three jabs in a row right on the chin of Cyborg. Nice job. He needs to keep Cyborg walking backwards. Oh, and Cyborg stuck that straight right, and Diaz walked right through it. Got to keep kickers going backwards so they can't kick effectively. And Diaz nails him with the left. Now a right. This is breaking down into the slugfest we thought it might be. And Diaz now attempting a kick of his own. We know that Cyborg told us we would show a different wrinkle, a controlled aggression. Oh, and there's another devastating inside leg kick. Diaz has got to turn that knee into that kick and let him kick his knee. We are seeing a different Cyborg. He's not the bull in the proverbial China shop, and he continues to chop away at Nick Diaz's lead leg. Tell you what, Cyborg looks motivated, man. He, he has killing in his eyes. Diaz said he would either win the fight or end up in hospital. And now D Cyborg mixing it up with the body and going upstairs with a one-two. Diaz taunting him and again gets tagged. And Diaz, I mean, he's got a tremendous chin, but how many of those shots can you take from the bigger Cyborg? They're just standing right at the end of those punches. and punches by Cyborg Erlen. He was doing a great job on that front leg and even being pushed back. He was brawling and exchanging and landing those shots. He was doing really good, especially with that front leg kick. But the more he got pushed back, the more his energy ran out. That leg kick came less and less and less. Diaz finding that range, literally touching his head every single time. Short shots followed by that straight left. Oh, that one hurt him. And this body work on the cage followed by this hook. That's just money, baby. Diaz is boxing up a oh, storm. This boxing is something to admire. Great composure by him. 
Not surprisingly, all five minutes were contested in the standup, where both Cyborg and even Diaz, a Gracie black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, the guy could do it all. Round two underway. Cyborg landed 16 of 26 leg kicks in the opening round. Diaz landed 36 of 64 punches standing. Oh, and he's taunting him again. He's telling him to hit me. And again, <laughs> Cyborg continues to sweep away at that lead leg. Diaz has to be careful. I really like the down. Now he's getting his head popped back like a pest dispenser in Cyborg. But guys, he is keeping to his game plan, working those inside leg kicks. And again. That kick hurt. He's working the shooter box style. Diaz threw the kick. Cyborg countered, caught him on the back leg. The back leg kicks are the ones that hurt you. When you get kicked on your back leg, those are devastating. And any of those kicks that go down. See how he whipped that kick around and brought it down? Oh, that hurts. Diaz making him punch, making him punch, making him gas himself out. Look at him. He's doing it on purpose. Rope rope. Diaz, of course, never at a loss when it comes to conditioning. This guy does triathlons when he's not training for mixed martial arts. He can go all night long, and he continues to pepper away with a jab. Good avoidance there by Cyborg. Head movement, counter right hand. What would you like to see Cyborg do as a follow-up to the leg kick, Pat? You know, to be honest with you, the leg kick, the inside leg kick, when Diaz is in the middle of his combos, that will take his base out, make him fall forward, then Cyborg needs to go right away with his combos. Couple of rear-level trajectory elbows there by Cyborg, and another elbow. Now he's utilizing the elbow techniques he picked up at Shooter Box. It's an elbow fight. And those elbows extremely dangerous, that bone flying through your face like that. Of course, elbows are legal in the stand-up here in Strike Force, not legal on the ground to the head of a grounded opponent. And the crowd again with a chance of Diaz, the Stockton, California native, becoming a fan favorite here in San Jose. Here comes Diaz again. Cyborg trying to reach for the clinch. And again, attacking the inside of Diaz's lead leg. Oh, another one. The outside, follows it up with an overhand right. Diaz again connects with the one-two. The southpaw putting on a striking clinic as only Nick Diaz can. Two minutes, 23 seconds left in the second stanza. Oh, uppercut from Cyborg. Cyborg's making it a bra, but does he have the wind? Does he have the gas to maintain the style? It seems that Diaz is beginning to find his target, but Cyborg not capitulating, wanting to stay in this fracas. I think Diaz needs to pick up the pace. That's what gasses people. He's letting Cyborg rest in between all of this, and that doesn't play to his strength. He's a triathlete. He's got incredible endurance. Diaz he switching it. stances now, going back to Southpaw. Nice uppercut counter by Cyborg right there. Knee from Cyborg. Looking for the color tie, and Diaz just stays in the pocket. Very focused, very patient. Always has a great poker face, does Nick Diaz. How many MMA guys, Frank, have you seen that will stay in your face like that while you're punching? Won't even take a step back. He'll just move his head, block with his arms, do whatever. Kid's got a hell of a chin, too. Yeah, just one of them. It was Nick Diaz, and he was taunting me the whole time. Well, he's doing the same thing now as he drops his hands, beginning to mark up the visage of Evangelista Cyborg, getting some free facial tattoos courtesy of Nick Diaz. And Diaz again, but look at Cyborg. Resilient, looking for the tie clinch, and Diaz escapes. Final minute now. Cyborg's doing good work with that brawling, but he's got to double up on that jab or do a combo and hit that kick. That's how those kicks are landing or wait until Diaz fires and then do that cut kick like you're caught in that front leg, Pat. Yeah. There's a spinning hook kick by Cyborg, and there is the first takedown of the fight. A trip takedown by Cyborg. He is also a BJJ black belt. But Diaz is a great CBJJ black belt looking for the arm bar underneath. Oh, he's got it. The crowd anticipating it here. Final 15 seconds of the second round. Hammer fist to the body by Diaz. Looks for the arm bar. It's over. Diaz retains the strike force 
some tears and why not her husband put up a gallant effort but fell short and Nick Diaz remains the top dog in the strike force welterweight division to take and submit after you beat a guy up standing up and submit a guy that quickly on the ground who's a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu also he went for broke he knew how much time was left and did it Frank uh, all I know is we've never seen an athlete like Nick Diaz who does everything triathlon swimming he's doing Xterra I don't know about that leg I don't know he's gonna run it with that leg but he's what he's trying to get out of this fight with no damage so he can go do Xterra the world crazy marathon championship this guy is a crazy athlete but when he puts it together in the cage he's, he's phenomenal he's flawless Oh, here he is in just beautiful armbar position. And as soon as he flipped him over, you said it, Pat, he was weak. Here goes that leg. As soon as Cyborg goes over, he's just not in position to defend this anymore. He's in great armbar position. And as soon as that arm is straight, locked, done. I think he stretched his arm a little bit, Pat. Yeah, he hit it hard right off the bat, Frank. And, you know, the thing that he did right away is he changed the angle right away. You can see he spun underneath Cyborg, came out the back door, hooks the shin bone, throws his legs over so he can put him on his back, and then boom, hits him in the belly a couple times, distract him, and then torques the arm loose. I think Cyborg was hoping to roll out of that arm bar. Wasn't gonna happen with Diaz. Yeah, I think he was waiting for that timing, and the timing wasn't there. And you can see it on his face. Ah, oh, man. Alwyn. Just the Chris Cyborg's reaction is just, oh man. Yeah, I, I know I wouldn't want to watch my wife fight. How about you? I made my wife sit there pregnant and watch me, so I, I don't know what's wrong with us. Shows what kind of guy you are. <laughs> And let's take it up to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, with the time of four minutes, 50 seconds in round number two, an arm bar ends this contest as the fighter taps out. He is the winner by way of submission. He is still the strike force welterweight champion of the world, Nick Diaz. Nick. Nick Diaz. Open up. Open up Lola's mic. Nick Diaz, congratulations retaining the Strike Force welterweight title. Were you at all surprised that Cyborg decided to take you down in that round? No, I, put, I, put, I figure I put pressure. He's going to have to do something. You know, he want to take no more punches. He's going to take me down. You know. Heading into this fight, you seem to, to showcase a new Nick Diaz. You had a lot of respect for Cyborg coming into this fight. Is this, is this something we're going to see in the future? Because right now you are at the top of your game. Nine straight wins. No, it's really just out of respect the way he fights. You know, he don't play around. He, he comes out here and fought me, you know. He came out here to fight. Uh, you know, he doesn't try to play the game to win. He tries to come out here and get the knockout win and put on a show for you guys. How would you rate your performance tonight? Obviously pleased with the win. Were you happy with the way everything turned out? Did it go according to plan? No, uh, not especially. I should have checked those kicks a little better. But I settled down and I started to, you know, started to feel it out and started to check the kicks. I think he was trying to put everything in those first two rounds. Hey, listen, I got I to gotta give a shout out to my partners. Uh, you know, uh, Gilbert Melendez and Jake Shields and Nathan Diaz. And uh, I got Josh, Josh Thornburg. You guys are going to see him out here soon. Thanks for helping me in my training. And Lucas Gamaza tonight, it didn't go his way, but he helped me with a little bit of sparring. I really appreciate that, too. Anybody you want to face next, you're the champion, but is there anyone that you'd like to, to call out right now? Hey, I fight for uh, Strike Force, you know? This is showtime, baby. I'll fight anybody. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the Strike Force